Uh, we have a strong, I am speaking for Krokus now, the whole community. We have a well-respected community organizations and big partners uh, in this work, and West Woodland is one of those communities, and the very own Blacks in Green in Hyde Park, in, 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 in Woodland. So we are eager to work with Blacks and Green and other communities to help strengthen and inform the vision for a sustainable square mile and other things. We aim at really providing the information that's going to be critical to develop future solutions. Uh, we also um, are partnering with local colleges and universities uh, to provide students from local communities from local communities to develop passion for these kind of themes. Not only that, work with us and really develop the skills and the careers of the future in the climate, environmental um, type of, uh, of work. So we are really going to, to do a lot of work in understanding what these careers are going to be and how we can grow our own uh, students in, in doing that. So I hope I shared something that is of interest to you, and I encourage you to stop at our table, talk with our scientists, meet the students who are already in there um, working uh, with us. And with that, I really wanted to say, Naomi, very nice to see you here, and thank you, and the podium is yours. Thank you. We're so excited to be working with Argon, and of course you folks know that big, Blacks and Green has been a committed on the ground partner in the area of climate. You know, black communities are hit first and worst by the impacts of global warming. We're resource least and last. And here we are today on the ground pushing forward that our children in the schools, especially our kids in West Woodlawn, are going to be exposed to the science opportunities. Uh, the track and career associated with solving a major problem for our people. So yes, we're big and uh, we're the creators of the Sustainable Square Mile and I just want to say, I usually start by saying, greetings cousins, how y'all doing? <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm here with my Sustainable Square Mile team, say hey team. <laughs> Y'all remember when I was an army of one, right? <laughs> so so we, um, we want you to understand that here in the age of climate crisis, we are flourishing as an organization and community, but we're not flourishing if our households are not flourishing, okay? The, f the household is the first economy. The household is the first economy. And so we're here to talk about sustainability at the housing level, but we're also creating economies in energy, tourism, horticulture, waste, in addition to housing. And so at the, at the sustainability level with housing, we want you to know that that Boston woman <laughs> is here to learn our sustainable square mile system, and we've got partners um, growing in Cleveland, Cleveland in the house, 30 folks here from Cleveland to learn our sustainable square mile model. And we're going to Miami, we're going to Dallas, we're going to Baltimore, and we're going to Detroit. What is it that we're doing? We're doing a walk to work, walk to shop, walk to learn, walk to play village, where African Americans own the businesses, own the land, and live the conservation lifestyle. Okay? Increasing the way neighbor-owned businesses are created and sustained, building the capacity of neighbors to own, develop, and manage the property in their community, and of course advancing that conservation lifestyle, which we call the beautiful life. But life ain't so beautiful, I'm going to make a hard segue here, if you cannot afford your utility bills, light and heat are too expensive, and we're in a time of accelerating profits at the utilities, uh, we're looking at increased rate hikes, and we're looking at escalating consumer debt, and we're looking at more connection, disconnection threats. These things got to give, and that's why Blacks and Green has gone to Springfield, y'all. We done wrote our first bill. <laughs> People's Utility Rate Relief Act, okay, and we're going to be asking you by any means necessary for you to contact your legislators and let them know you stand with House Bill 2172. Say it, 2172. And we're going to be bringing 
bringing the fight to Springfield for balanced uh, representation at the Illinois Commerce Commission and affordable energy. Amen? Amen. See you soon in the library.